Today we're going to look at uh, Voyager Linux. Voyager Linux comes in different versions. Um, there are Ubuntu based versions, Debian based versions, etc. But what we're going to do first, we're going to install Voyager. I've gone ahead and gotten the latest version of Voyager, which is based on Ubuntu 2304. And I'm just going to do a quick uh, installation here. Okay, let's install the third party files as well. Okay, Racer just can install it, that's fine. We're okay with those. LA is fine. And let's just install these. So I'll just call it Voyager WM. A strong password. Say continue. And okay. It's basically installing the latest version of Voyager Linux. And We'll come back once it's finished. Okay, so we've got into that portion, so let's restart now. Okay, so let's skip the online accounts. Let's skip help improve Ubuntu. And skip the software center. So first thing I want to do is fix the display settings. Okay, so we have the display settings all set up. And let's go to about, and of course we're using Voyager Linux uh, 2304, based of course on Ubuntu 2304, using Linux kernel 6.2. Um, appearance, I'm just going to use dark mode for, okay, that crashed. But I think, yeah, it's changed it. Okay, cool, so this is uh, Voyager straight out of the box. Um, and as you can see here, it's using uh, GNOME or GNOME, and of course, I've gone ahead and applied a couple of extensions uh, to this. I'm not going to do the latest updates, but we're going to definitely take a look here. So, we've got files, we've got a uh, text editor, quite a bit of applications are in French. Oh, we can actually change that. And of course, extension manager here. Uh, and a lot of these at this point, of course, can be updated. Again, uh, there's been no, um, you might update an extension, might not work anymore. Uh, games, uh, chess, uh, Pac Man, uh, a very difficult version of Tetris, apparently. All right, uh, graphic shot well, uh, Gunu. Or GIMP, should I rather say? Uh, private. What the heck is private? Oh, it's Firefox in private browsing mode. That's an interesting way of doing it. Okay. Uh, let's go back to where we were. And oh, I've got the Thunderbird mail. Let's cancel the setup. Okay, I didn't expect it to do that. Uh, and we're using uh, 115, so of course the newer and greatest uh, Thunderbird. Uh, Foliate. Okay, so this is a book, uh, catalog books, that if you want to read or look at. Office, LibreOffice, LibreWriter. Sound, good vibes. I guess this is, yeah, this is internet radio. System tools, boot repair, OS uninstaller, software updater, uh, menu settings, a box voyage of learn. What all this means? Night speed, screencast, voyage of wallpapers. Okay. Extensions now. Okay, so this must be their own little application here. Um, country control. Okay, so auto start. Conkey management, add, remove, conkey lists, conkey menu. Wine and gaming. Uh, so you can go ahead and install Steam Gaming, etc. 
Uh, I'm just going to cancel that. System info. And of course, you've got uh, that here. Even the Ubuntu uh, logo is still there. And if I go switch Voyager to Ubuntu, okay, you can then just switch it to normal Ubuntu there. So I'm just going to cancel these. Close those out of there. Right. Um, System monitor, so we've got uh, resources here, 1.8 gigs of memory, not too bad. Lowish CPU usage, it's not really doing anything right now. And EXT4 is the file system. Okay, so if we look at software, and we look at software repos. Okay, users of Ubuntu's repos here. Updates, authentication, additional drivers, develop options. Okay. And someone installs something, so let's say Chromium. This supports Snap, Ubuntu Snap out of the box, as well as Flatpak. So you, if you choose an application, you can choose whether you want to install it from FlatHub, right? If it's a Flatpak, or if I go back here, uh, the first option will be uh, a Snap package. And of course, the latest or the beta version, which is uh, interesting. Also, on the flat top version, it doesn't seem to show the which version it's using. Uh, preferences again, automatic updates, and forty-four, and use some installed applications. And okay, so I guess that's just with everything here. Yeah, you can even install something. Uh, flat hub uh, dev file from the uh, repos or as a snap file okay that's interesting that they've kept both uh, included usually a lot of these distros will remove uh, again private opening up the web browser private mode notes standard notes standard text editor standard files and opening up the PDF here uh, Gives you a whole basic guide of how to use a uh, Voyager um, out of the box. You can also use uh, the XFCE layout. It's interesting. Let's take a look at that. Um, I really like all the additional plugins they've added here to know. Uh, let's just look out. Gosh, XFCE. Yeah, well, we just can't log into that. It just doesn't seem to work. I want to show you Voyager Linux's website. And I don't always show the website. And I know some people don't like it when I do that, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, and the reason I'm showing you this is that they have two main builds. They do uh, Ubuntu-based. Uh, and they also do Debian based. So each option here, what they've done is they've highlighted whether it's an LTS edition, whether it's a future release, uh, news, I have no clue. Uh, options if you want to use it on a tablet or gaming. So for example, here they've also got Voyager 12, which is a Debian bookworm based or the latest Debian uh, using XFCE supported until 2028. And of course, what we're looking at today is uh, Ubuntu 2304, which would be 2304 plus uh, if we applied all the updates, I take it. And the next version, uh, which we'll use num 45, are coming out in October. Um, so, and if you're scrolling this side as well, they actually give you additional information. So they're all pretty similar to each other, but it is nice that you do have that uh, option as well. Um, they talk about how uh, Voyager 2304 Plus has um, access to Chatty GPT and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to close the website, but I just wanted to show that to you. So who is this distro for? Well, if you want a 
Ubuntu desktop that's been tweaked uh, with additional packages and has flat packs pre enabled and possibly, you know, one or two additional system uh, pieces of software added, like in this case, the box uh, voyager. You know, then this is something uh, to try. But, you know, um, I don't know many people that uh, use this distro. I don't actually know anyone that uses this distro. Um, but it does seem to be semi polished. Um, I really don't have very much to say about it in all honesty. It's just a, it's another Ubuntu based distro that has done a bit of customization on, and yeah, and then it still has flat packs and snaps pre installed. So if you use this or know someone that uses it or are a real uh, Voyager Linux hardcore user, uh, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching and bye for now.